Good morning, I'm Adrian Jones, the owner of Keller Williams in Hartley Whitney, and this is the Sunday Property Breakfast. Thank you as always for watching. Quite a few of you ask whether I actually do this on a Sunday morning. Well, if you can see through the window behind me, you'll realize it's snowing and it didn't start snowing until eight o'clock this morning. So, yep, I do these on a Sunday morning. Some property market news. Um, this started early the, earlier on this year. There is a move for some leasehold reform. And one of the things it will do is give leaseholders the opportunity to extend up to 990 years um, at a nil ground rent. We'd be here until breakfast tomorrow to discuss it in detail, but if it's something that affects you or you're interested in, Google leasehold reform, and then you'll be able to take part in that debate and uh, see what is happening. Uh, continuing with the legal theme, um, I've mentioned a lot in the past how many transactions are going through at the moment and the process is a lot slower than normal. Sadly, with the numbers that we're all reading in the press, um, the administration of sales, particularly through the solicitors and conveyancers, is going to be even more slow and I've seen that this week. There's not an awful lot you can do about that if you're already in the process other than be efficient in replying to your solicitor's requirements. If you are on the market or looking to go to the market, what you can do is make sure your solicitor has every piece of information to send a contract out as soon as the sale is agreed. I do that with my clients. If you're on the market with somebody else, I suggest you make sure that you're fully legally prepared. And finally, on the legal theme, mentioned the stamp duty deadline, which has caused a lot of uh, the activity and the sales going through. Uh, you may be aware that if more than 100,000 people sign a petition, there has to be a debate in Parliament. And that's happened with the extension of the stamp duty deadline. So that's going to bring that to a head quite soon. I don't have a date for when it's to be debated, but it will be. And uh, watch this space to see what happens with regard to any extension to stamp duty. Local property news. There is one major bit of planning news which I wanted to let you know. The LAM has now agreed all its um, main planning issues. There are a couple of conditions attached to it, which will always be the case, but they basically now have planning to go ahead and redevelop the LAM. It will produce six residential units and one commercial unit. They hope to start in the spring, so by the end of this year, it should hopefully be substantially built, which will obviously um, greatly improve uh, the street scene as you come into Hartley from the golf course end. Um, I have some local property needs. I mentioned last week that I'm looking for some bungalows and that uh, is still very much the case. Uh, I'm also looking for two bedroom Victorian cottages. I sold three towards the end of last year and the beginning of this year and I have clients urgently looking for a character two bedroom Victorian cottage either in Hartley Whitney or some of the surrounding villages. And I have a very specific need from a client sold their house in Hook and they're looking for a four bedroom detached house up to £600,000 in Hook, Hartley Whitney, Rotherick, North Warmborough. So please do get in touch with me if you have any of those properties and would be considering coming onto the market. I have one specific property that has become available which I wanted to talk to you about. I've got a fantastic five bedroom detached house in West Green Road which is coming to the market this week with a guide price of £1 million. I'm doing an open house by appointment, strictly under COVID guidelines, next Saturday, the 30th of January, between 11 and three. It's got five bedrooms, um, three bathrooms, the master bedroom and ensuite and dressing room are really huge. It's got a really well finished kitchen breakfast room and along with the lounge, they open out through bifold doors into a really well landscaped south facing garden garage, lots of off-street parking, and you are literally a few minutes walk to the high street and all the, the amenities of Hartley Whitney. So if you want to view that one, please get in touch. If you are not happy to go into a house and do a viewing, which I totally understand, I can still do a specific bespoke virtual viewing for you. I will walk around the house on a Zoom call and I can show you around the house and you can tell me to look at certain parts of the house or look again at certain parts of the house that you specifically are interested in. So don't be put off by the fact that you may not want to physically view it yourself. And I can do a similar thing with virtual valuations. If again you're not happy for people to be coming into your house, which I fully appreciate, we can do the same thing in reverse. We can have a Zoom call where I tell you the difference that uh, Keller Williams can make by a more bespoke personal approach. 
you can then show me around the house so that I can assess its saleability and of course its value. So we're doing everything we can to uh, keep things rolling during these difficult times. Um, that's all I have for this week. Um, please do get in touch with me on any property issues at all. My number is 01252 988 or you can email me adrian.jones at kwuk.com. Stay safe, uh, stay safe in this snow, look after each other and I will see you again very soon on Sunday for the next Property Breakfast. Thanks very much.